Thanks guys for supporting this channel and for making it to 200 subscribers. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to subscribe now. What's up guys, we're back again. And today I'm going to make a review of this Corsair Straight 4 GB keyboard with Cherry MX Red keycaps. So, of course it is a mechanical keyboard. Look at, look at these keycaps. Wait a second. I have the Cherry MX Red keycaps. Of course it has RGB lighting, individual perky lighting, whatsoever. Um, this is going to be a huge difference from any normal keyboard we might have had. Now if you buy a mechanical keyboard, please be prepared for this sound. Man, that, that's, that's a nice feedback, isn't it? Um, so let's talk a little bit what we can find in the box with the keyboard. Now I don't have the box right here. And also I don't have um, something else though. That it includes, of course, the key remover. But it also includes a few, like, uh, rugged keys. Now, I don't have here, I don't have them here because I personally don't need them. I mean, I'm fine with these keys that come with a keyboard. I don't need those uh, rugged key keys indeed. Um, they actually made things harder for me because, you know, they were in a shape like this. And typing was uh, a little bit complicated, especially when using the WASD keys. It included two sets of keys, so one for uh, like shooters and such, WASD, and then the other were in the, in the other set uh, we could see WASD and I think Q and D as well. Uh, so yeah, I used the WASD key, key set, but. Um, I decided to stop using it because it was making things too hard for me. Like it was fine for gaming but not for typing and I mostly type, not game. And you can imagine if, I, if I'm a frequent gamer, how much I got to type to say no to those keys. Because of the typing issue. Okay, so on the back of the keyboard, we can see a USB port. Now this... In order to function, will be connected through this cable, the pass-through cable, to the computer. It, therefore, it includes uh, two USB ports. Now, light, right side might, th might make things a little bit harder, but... Anyways, this is the keyboard uh, port now. Let's see, there. This is the keyboard cable, and this is the pass-through cable. So you know this uh, this USB port that is over here is actually pretty good, you know, especially if you lack some USB ports on the front, you can definitely have one more accessible USB port. Okay, so on the side, we'll see we'll see this um, more in depth now. Um, have this nice finish. Inside of here we have uh, actually a white backlight, so that's pretty nice. On the other side, uh, pretty much the same thing white finish and here some white some white lining and the bottom we can we can see you know just typical um, pads for 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 you know for putting at a higher angle the up part of the keyboard this keyboard also includes an, also includes this armrest um, which is very recommended to use by the way because uh, I did try gaming once, once without the armor, the pardon me, the wrist rest. Um, definitely, my wrist was hurting a lot after that. Now, of course, this will make the keyboard a lot longer, like a good few centimeters. But I believe it is only worth it if you don't want to kill your wrist. Okay, so I'm going to connect it to to the computer now. I'm going to make an outbreak now. I'm not sure how this will work on YouTube. Um, and I don't know if it will show a video or what, but um, I believe it should. <laughs> if not, uh, this will be just a transition for you. If it doesn't show you a video. So, I will show now. I will show you now after connecting the keyboard to the computer. A little bit about the software and about the configuring options of this keyboard. 
Everything is pretty much configurable, but you'll see in a moment. Okay, so now we're into the queue software, which you can see on the left side. Um, we have already set, selected the keyboard, the straight RGB. Um, this is the current profile, the current light, lighting effect. We're going to share now the, the things we can do with, with the software. So, of course, we can have as many profiles as we want. I mean, for example, I have five profiles. And let's create a new one. And I just want to show you what we can do with this. So, profile seven. Now, as you can see, the keyboard is really showing any lights besides the brightness and the lock key light, the lock key light here, which we can see here on the screen as well. Um, so let's get to actions. Oops. See what we can do. I'm working. This is this part is basically for making macros. You know, for example, I'm going to make a macro. I don't know. Start and record the macro by pressing the record button. So I'm going to record it. Oops, it wrong one. Let's go again. I got to do all of this with the F1 key. So now we can go to the ground, for example. Now, I've misconfigured this software, so. I need to have to do something differently here. Um, yeah, that's an epic mistake by the way on my side. Output, no, sources. Screen capture, 1920 by 1080. Okay, this is going to be epic, okay? Out. And there we go. So, when I'm going to press right now the F1 key here, It's not going to use the function key stand if it's going to use the macro I've created. Tip. Okay, so whoops. Uh what else? Unless it's this macro, I'm really not into it to having a macro. Lighting effects. Now this is where the fun part will begin. Mm, by the way, I forgot to tell you with lighting. I mean I told you before that there was a white backlight on the sides. So I need to show you to you right away. It's not a uh, really too bright backlight, but it's okay. Here, left, and on the right side. So that's an actually pretty nice effect to the keyboard. Let's continue. Um, that said, we're going to create a new effect here. Um, the default effect is the spiral rainbow. However, we can select multiple effects, including static color. You know, and we can put effects on top of our effects. So, for example, I can make like the left part of the keyboard. Let's suppose it's this long, okay, until here. Let's, let's suppose white. And the other side, this will be on top of this. The other side, you can either make it a spiral rainbow, which will actually look very weird. And let's, and <laughs> let's choose static color now. We need to, to choose the ones we didn't have the last time. Let's see if I don't epically fail now. Let's go, for example, for rose. It's an actually nice effect, white and rose. Not bad. So let's suppose now we want a certain key to be only from a, for a different color. Let's put the escape key in a red color. So effectively for this we're going to uh, here. Oops. Select static color. Select the escape key and for example let's make it blue. So. Sorry, better red. No, like, this is the red button. Bam. Um. <laughs> anyways, jokes aside. Uh, 
It's a pretty fun software because it has lots of configurable op options. We can even configure this all right. Can make it be red as well. But I believe it's just so much more fun to have the escape key in red. Okay, so let's get to the performance tab. This is the last tab. Um, the, the settings by default will actually quite making a fix because you can see here the Windows lock key is in red. However, the, the key is enabled. So I got confused myself with this one, so that's something I, su I suggest you to change right away. Um, definitely, we just go here, select green, go here and select red. So now you can see the key is now in green. Unlocked. In red. Locked. Let's unlock it for now. We can we can even change the brightness indicator the logo the color to you know let's put uh, I don't know a light blue. Okay, let's let it like this. Um, we also have. Oh, we can actually disable the side lightings, which I showed you before. <laughs> I just found it out now, okay? But I prefer to have them turned on. Mm, okay. This is what we can unlock with the Windows lock key. Now, definitely, my personal recommendation will be that you don't lock just everything. But, you, let you, but, you know, you should let an option. Just in case an application crashes like CSGO or whatever, a game. And at least you'll have a way to escape from it. That isn't... You know, turning off the computer. So, for example, if you lock these two, this three, you no, know, for Steam overlay, leave this unlocked. It's my personal recommendation, so you have a way still to escape from a crashing game and such. Mm. So, that's pretty much it for today. I might make a more in depth tutorial of uh, the Q software. By the way, um, you can test it with um, with a virtual keyboard, you know, so you can even try it before buying the actual keyboard. So I'll put a link in the description of this software. And for now, thanks guys for watching, I hope you really enjoyed it. Hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, let's make more than 200 subscribers. And I'll see you the next time.